Hi guys, welcome back. We're actually still on the last day of October. Just about to go into a pre-match press conference for the West Ham match, which is coming up. But uh, the tail end of last month was a bit difficult. We lost against Leeds and we damn near threw away a 4-1 lead over Rangers. Thankfully, we only lost the one game last month, but um, even that's too much for me. So I went and had a look at the squad. I went and had a look at the way things are going. And if we just take a quick look at this, Seja Klozniak's recent performances are not impressing the board. They haven't been impressing me. I think he needs to, and I think he needs to go. For a while there, he was fantastic, and I was really impressed. But overall, I'm not happy. So um, I've gone in. I've looked at the tactics for the team, and Bostock, Cabellos, Smith Rowe. That little combination there, I think, is fantastic. It's gone a little bit off the boil, but I'm putting that down to uh, being a bit tired. So we're going to try them out again. We're going to, I haven't really changed anything here. What's important is that these three across here are supporting Aubameyang with goals so that all the pressure is not on Aubameyang. And that seems to be working. So I'm happy with that. I've pushed the entire team forward and hopefully we'll be able to press a little bit tighter, gain control in the middle of the pitch and um, quickly get the ball and go for some counter-attacks. So hopefully uh, that will allow us some some positives there. Now, I've put David Luiz back in, taken Holden off and put him on the bench, purely because David Luiz, um, we haven't lost with him in the team. Tierney, I've already replaced, uh, uh, what's his name, Kalasniak. I think Tierney's a very good player, so um, I think I'm going to stick with him. And uh, I just need to sort out the the subs bench here. I've got Mesut Ozil, of course. Having Mesut Ozil on the bench, theoretically, is a positive, but uh, I'm not so sure. So let's go to the press conference. The team played well last time out against Rangers. How will you get them to maintain that level of performance? This is where we can't afford to become complacent. We have to stay just as humble as before. Following West Ham's heavy 3-0 English Premier League division defeat against Manchester United in their last match, Moyes' side are currently 7th in the Premier Division with 10 points from their first 6 matches. Are you perhaps wary of coming unstuck against a West Ham side playing so well of late? Who are they talking about? I'd rather focus on the game itself than needlessly discuss it. I think they're saying Manchester United are playing well. Am I scared of them? No, I'm not. With a packed schedule ahead of you, are you likely to rest players such as Sead Kolosniak in order to keep them as fresh as possible? Sead, I'm sure we'll find time to rest him and anyone else that needs it. How important are players like Will Ayan, who seem to who seem so sharp both technically and mentally? I don't want to focus on one player. We need to play as a team if we're going to win. Okay. Nothing too exciting to talk about there. Liverpool's 10-game unbeaten run continues. They smashed Everton 6-0. Wow. Wow. Um, we haven't got 7 million. How are we going to make a bid for Ginter at 7 million when we don't have it? We also don't have 125,000 a week available. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to work. Okay, here we go. Big game. This is very important. I need to think about who I'm going to substitute off. I'm not sure Mesut Ozil needs to be there, to be honest with you. Uh, Runison still injured. He can't come on. Okay, Willock. Nelson. Nelson's a good little player. Actually, I might swatch Nikita out for Nilsson, Nelson. And then uh, Cedric on for Ozil. Let's try that. Let's just see how it works. Three players concerned. Reese Nilsson lacks tactical familiarity. Okay, well, changes need to occur. Let's see how we do it here. Okay, great opportunity to show the pundits what you're made of. Everyone's motivated. Let's do this. We've got to bounce back off that Leeds defeat. 
ideally with a bit of bit of class. Suka to Bowen. Good sprint down the left wing there. Oh, what a tackle from Bellerin. That's more like it, my man. Uh, what is going on with our defence? Big gaps. Big gaps all over the place. Bellerin, Smith Rowe, Pepe. Pepe with one of his super runs, but Matsuka absolutely just dominating him there. All the way to the goal. Gets a shot completely untested. Wow. Defensively, well, in the centre of the in the centre of the team we got some big problems. Cabellos isn't happy. Bostock isn't happy. That's it. 2 0. 2 0. This is seriously bad. Cabellos. Big, big ball out to Pepe. Pepe, good ball in, but Diop making light work of it. Tierney though, coming up on the left flank. He's going to give the ball away here, I can feel it. Cabellos. Now come on. You've got the skills here. Azamun. Someone. Yamalenko. Good tackle, Tierney. Pato, come on, son. You haven't really done much for us in the league. Now would be a good time. And again, just losing the ball. Why are we holding on to the ball so long? Get the ball moving. Tierney, that's a good ball. Aubameyang, so close to that. Dawson, stayed fresh, stayed calm. Back to Fabianski, an old Arsenal player. Bellerin, brilliantly taken. Pepe, what can he do this time? Aubameyang! All right. Back in. That's right, Aubameyang. You pick up that ball and you bring it back to the centre spot. We want to be 2-2 before half-time. This is much better, gentlemen, much better. So they're recommending I bring Sacco on, and I might do that, actually. Sacco hasn't played for a few games. He's got some great pace. Noble, Dawson. Big, long ball from Dawson, Luis. Cutting it out, and there's Pepe. What can he do? It's five against two at the moment. Here's Pato. Oh, if he'd have scored that, he might not have been coming off. But I think he still needs to come off. Bellerin, first to pick it up. Nothing doing though. Free kick. Come on, Pepe. Oh, he went for the shot. He's got the rebound. Oh, what a fantastic save from Fabianski. Good effort from Pepe though. This is good, seeing a bit of fight in the team. Unlucky David Luiz. And here we're going over the top. It was much better from us. I should have been playing defensive midfielders all along. Right. I expect to see a much better showing from you in the second half. That's it, everyone's motivated. Right, let's go to tactics. Let's look at what we've got here. Danny Caballos is not having a good game. I might put him like that. Slightly interesting uh, situation there, but uh, Will I am coming on alongside uh, Smith Rowe. I think he could be fantastic for that. Bostock really tempted to swap him out for Maitland Niles. I think I'm going to do it. It's a big risk to make such a big change in the middle, but I think it's going to work in our favour. Saka for Pato. Let's give Pato 10 minutes. See if he can uh, see if he can pick up his first Premier League goal. 2 1 down. Lots of work to do here. West Ham, it looks like, quite happy to just play the clock out from 45 minutes. That's a good ball over the top. They're no fresh and ready for it though. Who's going to get on that? Fredericks is on it. And that is a good ball over the top, but thankfully, Gabriel closing it out. Will I am. You can see that we're much further up the pitch now. I think it's starting to work. Pepe, great run. Fantastic effort. Could have been an absolute scorcher, but not quite. 
Okay, Pato is not performing out there today. Let's bring Saka on. That's our final sub of the day. Saka immediately getting involved, nearly working out. But unfortunately, that's come against us as a moon. Very nearly putting that away. Tierney, Saka, Smith Rowe, who's making a, a great name for himself already. Will I Ann over the top to nobody really. Fernales as a moon again. Not happy. It's getting caught out by as a moon over the top. So this is simple, simple football. Let's go very attacking. We've got two goals. We've got to clamber back here somehow. West Ham in control of the ball again. Enjoying themselves, it seems. Having a disastrous couple of games here. Bowen out to Masuka. We are just not winning the ball in the middle, are we? That was good. Here's Saka. What can he do with the ball? Great run from Saka. All the way. Penalty. Pepe picks it up. Aubameyang is there. 3-2. This game is still on. Aubameyang. Look at him picking up the ball again. Saka definitely the right choice. Unfortunate to get taken out there, but maybe that worked out for the best. It's not over yet, guys. Wow. Not much going on there. Second half, West Ham just took off. Far from pleased. Everyone's motivated, but this is not good. Considering the recent run of bad results, do you think these are the players to turn things around? I really do... I know what this group of players is capable of. The results don't show it right now, but they're more than good enough to start winning soon. This is going to be a tough month. Post-match press conference, alrighty. Barcelona manager Ronald Koeman was spotted in the crowd today following recent speculation that he's in interested in signing Nicolas Pepe. Would you be willing to discuss a deal? There's no way he's leaving. Komen should look elsewhere. What was the thinking behind using Alexandre Pato ahead of Mesut Ozil as a winger? Mesut Ozil needs to give us a little bit more. It's nothing personal, but he needs to raise his game. And that pretty much concludes that press conference, thankfully. So I'm just going to mix it up a little bit in the middle there. Try and get us uh, some more defensive strength in the, in the middle. We're definitely losing the ball there too much. Alexandre Pato and, and so on. Yeah, I don't think this works really. The wingers, in my opinion, are very important. We'll see how it goes. Okay, up against Antwerp. Now, supposedly, this is supposed to be an easy game for us. Let's see what the press have to say. Having won your first two matches in the group, could a win here all but secure qualification? We've put ourselves in a fantastic position so far, and it's important that we take advantage of that by keeping the good form going. Gabriel has a number of standout attributes and many people feel they could make the difference against Antwerp. Do you share those sentiments? You could make the same sort of argument for everyone in the squad, couldn't you? They're all negative. The public will want to hear a proper answer from you. Gabriel has a number of standout attributes. I expect he'll impress. He's that sort of player and hopefully he can help us win. The press, honestly. So we've got Antwerp twice this month. It's going to be tough. We need to make it count this time. Get in there, get the win. All right, let's go talk to Party. He's downcast. Is there anything on your mind, mate? He's angry. I'm not starting enough for my supposed importance to this team and my career is stagnating as a result. I need you to ensure that that changes. I'm not going to guarantee anything about playing time, but I promise to bring you on as a sub. And if you can impress me in those appearances, then I'll have something to think about. He's hurt. I don't think sub appearances will give me enough playing time to really leave my mark. If I can't start matches, I might have to start looking for a transfer to find what I so desperately need. <clears throat> this is not a conflict situation. I don't want to lose you, but I can't go around making guarantees about who's going to play and when. Show a bit of patience, get your head down, 
and you'll get your chance to prove you're worthy of that playing time. Feels let down. We're getting nowhere with this, so let's finish the discussion there. I'm not happy with how little I'm playing, but I can see you're not going to change your mind anytime soon. Not good. Not good. A right hissy fitty set of players we've got. Some of them need to go, to be honest with you. So Smith Rowe, I think, ought to be in that position. I think we're going to go with this. I think I think that this has to work. The team was so good, and then Leeds just rocked all my confidence. Ozil cannot be registered for the. Yeah, he's not even registered, is he? Runison. Okay, pretty good. So this will be the first time that Bostock hasn't played, but um, double defensive midfielders, I think, is the key here. Let's see if we can get this working. We're favourites and we should be winning this comfortably. Let's do it. Is it easier to plan and prepare for matches when you have a player as versatile as Callum Chambers in the squad? Good players are good players. Good managers find the best way to use them. Okay, yes or no? All right, come on. Pepe, Obama Yang. 14 minutes in, that's a good start. Not sure what's happened to the audio. That's weird. And it's back. That's a really good goal from Obama Yang. Done well there. Another assist for Pepe. It'd be nice if Pepe got a couple of goals. Still got Pato out on the left wing. I'm hoping he's going to get a goal here. He's played well in the European games. Didn't play so well in the league. Jack is not all that happy. Pepe with his three kicks. <laughs> Great effort. Super safe from the keeper. Pepe, Aubameyang. Oh, that was nearly two. It's like carbon copy of the first goal. Okay, so completely dominant in that game. But not enough goals. Um, pump those fists. Things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. Absolutely right. Let's go second half. There are going to be subs. Just think that this little thing isn't working so well. What did I miss? I must remember to pause. Um, so just to see if it works any better, we'll bring Smith Rowe back. See how that feels for everybody. Apparently Jack is actually having a good game. Chambers isn't far off. Pepe, corner. David Luis, back out to Pepe. Pepe's going to have a shot. Obama Yang. Oh, that should have been two. That should have been two. What is going on today? Pepe, good attacking play. Have a pop. No, he lays it off for Tierney. Not the best pass I've ever seen. But Tierney's done well. Gets a free kick for the team. And can Pepe step up and provide another assist? Oh, he sent him off. Obviously that free kick didn't come too much. Pepe again. Great ball out to Pato. What can Pato do? Come on. Out wide to Tierney. Twice he failed to get that cross in. He mans. Jack has done well. Gabriel to Rowe. Great ball over the top from Rowe. Pepe nearly squeezing the goal in there. All right, we've got 10 minutes to go. I think... Lacazette out on the left wing. We'll bring Party in for Chambers. And we'll bring will I Ann on for Smith. 10 minutes to go. Just want another goal, just to... Just to finish this one off if we can. Pato, which will be his last move of the game. <laughs> off the post. Wow, we're getting all the luck. It's none of it good. Oh, how many subs can you make in European football? Because we've made four. I didn't realise you could make four subs. It's been a long time since I've been following football. There we go, 1-0. Far from convincing, but we had the whole game. Should have been much better. Nice to get a clean sheet, though. 
see here, that was a bit of a let off. We weren't good enough and we really weren't. Xhaka though, probably an easier way of doing this. Xhaka, you did well out there mate. Seems motivated, good, good, good. Let's not mess about too much. You prevented Antwerp from mustering so much as a single shot on target. Does that perhaps show just how dominant you were here? We played, we looked very solid at the back and that laid the foundation for the rest of our performance. Callum Chambers had a great game out there today. Do you expect that will increase interest for his services? I certainly hope so. We put him in the shot window and he did well. Played well, he did play well. Very useful to have him in the team. Callum Chambers and Emile Smith-Rowe maybe getting an England call-up. That's pretty cool. 